Hello everyone, this is Imran Imu and in this video training, I am going to create a slider in my WordPress website using this Meta Slider plugin. I am just going to get this name. Here I am in the dashboard of my WordPress website. From this plugins menu, I am going to hit this add new menu to install the plugin. Here I will search for the plugin. Okay, here it is. I am going to hit this install now button. Okay, now activate. Okay, as you can see, Meta Slider plugin has been installed and activated. A menu has been added on the sidebar. It's called Meta Slider. And from this Meta Slider sub menu, I'm going to create slider. Just hit this Meta Slider link. Here it is. Here I will create the slider. Here goes plus sign. And when you hover over here, it shows a tooltip called add a new slider. I'm just going to hit this plus sign and create a new slider. I'm going to name it to home slider. Okay, it's time to save it. Now a slider called home slider has been created and it's our time to add some images here. Okay, just hit this plus sign to add a slide image. Okay, here goes some images in my media library, but I'm going to upload some images. Upload files, select just these four images. Okay, I have already added four images and all the four images selected and I'm just going to add to slideshow. As you can see, four individual images has been added. You could add images on by one or you can just add in a bulk amount. I just added four images. One, two, three, four. Okay. And if you want something more, uh, I mean, if you want on more images, just already I have added four images, then you just click here, add slide and you can add another any image okay here goes that but i just want to work with four images now it's time to change the caption you can just use the default caption or just uncheck this box and you can write caption yourself i'm going to say my caption Okay, and here you can also add any URL. I'm just going to add my URL. Okay, I'm just going to add URL and open in a new window. If, they, if I check this box, then this link will open in a new window. Okay, and for the SEO purpose, I'm just going to hit this tab. I can just, what should I say, change this image title. By default, this image title is ASON, but I'm just going to rewrite, just uncheck this, then you can edit this image title. Themes code, and also you can change the image walls, just uncheck it to change, and just put the cursor here and type the image alt. This image alt is very important for SEO. Okay, just hit the save changes button. And you will have to cover this section for each and every individual images. Just from the general section, you will have to add caption, URL, SEO and crop option. Okay, just for crop, I just, what should I say? Just keep it default center crop okay and just see. okay just see the right section uh, you can manage this you can just display a slider that may be run by flex slider or r slider nibo slider or coin slider okay but in this video i will show you four of them and just uh, firstly, I will try with flex slider and navigation. What should be the navigation dots? Okay, 
or you can just make it hidden how to use this slider just we will take this short code and advanced setting okay the stress if you want just uh, okay i'll just come back in this advanced settings setting later just going to copy this short code and firstly just display the slider so to display the slider i'm going to create a page i'm going to name it slider okay i'm just going to paste the short code here and i'm just going to design this page i don't want no sidebar height primary header disable title disable feature image disable footer okay this option actually varies from theme to theme if you use any theme this theme has uh, this if you use any different theme then your uh, theme might have something different option these things are not based on the plugin okay and i'm just going to view this page now you can see here goes the slider but what we will do just come back here and we will just manage everything from here here we will change the width first and we will want width for 1920 full hd and height 450 okay the shape changes come to the space and refresh okay as you can see it displays full width full hd now just going to increase this height to 550 that will be look better refresh again now it looks better okay okay great let's see the advanced options okay before uh, now you can see the effects just uh, you just change the effects yourself and you will see the slide of left the slide and save okay it slides now let's see the advanced options the stress center align autoplay image group smart group carousel mode random and rebars just pretty simple things and hit save changes now refresh again okay it's cool so basically this slider is powered by flex slider let's see what happens in case of art sliders Save changes. Okay. Some basic changes. And nibble slider. Okay. And let's see coin slider and hit save button. Okay, I think this slider, coin slider would be better. It looks different. Okay, now just uh, show the header.
so i hope you enjoyed this video and you will be able to get a full with slider in your wordpress website if this video has helped you please don't forget to like this video and subscribe my youtube channel i will bring you more fantastic videos next time